75% of filling stations across the country are currently out of business due to inability to purchase diesel required to power their tankers. Wow. Wow. Okay, now speaking on behalf of the marketers, his name, Bennett uh, Corrier, he is um, the president of the Natural Oil and Gas Suppliers Association of Nigeria. He thinks one way we can get out of this situation, or at least the only solution, as he puts it, um, to the current challenge is for the federal government to raise pump price of petrol a little in order to reduce the huge foreign exchange uh, foreign exchange used for import. So, I mean, so there, someone is suggesting that petrol prices go up. And then Abuja is reporting that they don't have diesel. In fact, it's reported about 75% of them, uh, you know, have closed shop. Well, maybe it's in Abuja, you would say. But if nothing happens, if nothing comes to the rescue, challenges are, or the situation will be, that we are challenged in more ways than one. To a very large extent, there is nothing we can do about it. Like, there is, just to answer your last call, there is no messiah that's going to, like, um, bring the prices down. Um, let's understand that this is not just a Nigeria thing. Like, here in Canada and the U.S., like, the gas prices are on the roof right now. Um, and uh, not to sound like a conspiracy theorist, right? But, I mean, it only, it only makes sense, like, knowing that there is a global agenda for 2030, um, like, to cut down carbon emissions, right? Mm -hmm. as, as much as possible to zero. So, <clears throat> how, how do you drive people to, you know, get electric vehicles, to get, like, electric tanker, and, and, you know, alternative source of energy to power, like, plants and stuff like that? Like, you have to make these things more expensive and, you know, less affordable, and then we, we start looking at alternatives. Um, we have a driving at at the end of it, and then look at Nigeria. Nigeria were like over 200 million, and then that means over 200 million people emitting carbon from their car, from their generator, from their from their plants, like whatever. And and then it, it only makes the world unsustainable. Like you know, the whole global warming and stuff like that. I think I think um, what leaders need to do, including the Nigerian government, instead of like lamenting on oh. Um, you know how? What do we do to bring the price of diesel down? Start looking at alternative, like, and that's why I it it, it hurts me so much that you know we are seven years down the, the current regime, and then instead of Nigerians to it, it hurts me because like we don't really think of futuristic leaders like leaders with with exposure and then they think out of the box like how can we be 21st century or 20, sorry 21st century and then this is 2022 and then we'll see talking about oh diesel and then gas and then uh, the, that for like diesel like crude oil in general right and then like the world is moving fast like I, I don't even think that a tesla can work in nigeria right because, I mean, the power outage is crazy right now. Like, let's start thinking out of the box and then leave, leave some things behind. Because there is no hope. And it would be so bad for us to plan the next 10 years in Nigeria, you know, based on, like, proceeds from crude oil and stuff like that. Like, right. currently we are the poverty capital, but it might just get worse. Like, start thinking out of the box. I like to read. Jersey, I'll see you very, very far. We need to survive first. Nigeria need to survive. Yeah. The reason I'm angry about this whole thing is because we have these resources here in Nigeria. Which is exactly what I wanted to say to the Compared callers. To like other we're... Countries, you cannot compare Nigeria with Canada when it comes to oil. Absolutely. We yeah. are supposed to be even as they are, they are lacking, supposed to be exporting to those people as we speak. Mm -hmm. I've been making hello. People are catching out on this diesel and fire as we speak. Because about eighty percent of the cars we have in the world they are still using fire and diesels. Every machine in Canada, are they, are they, are they, are they Tesla? Are they electric, electrical, uh, the, uh, the vehicles? Very true. Yeah. So they are still using diesel. So as it stands, as we speak right now, as of today, tomorrow, and even next year, we we'll still consume diesel and fuel. So Nigeria, we don't know how to... Okay, let's even assume we are depending on this so oil, as the case may be, right? Why don't we just build a one standard, even if it's one... One for Christ's sake, one, one, one. <laughs> the money that they embezzle every day about twenty billion, eighty billion. How much is refinery? Yeah. How much is refinery? We have this crew. We don't need to export, import them. I mean to say, yeah. so we have. All we need to do is just refine this thing, and we are good as all. 
Yeah. Well, they want to take this money to, they, 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 to, to, to pay for delegates. So what is this? <laughs>